Can you please try to help me understand this? thing you ever bought. I agree. I got big plans. Very, very, e extremely big plans for this thing. Machine Freaks and welcome to today's vlog. I'm extremely excited today. We are going to tear into this crazy contraption. She's a little insane and a little extreme, but come on, look at it. She's got five wheels. That's one more wheel than the average vehicle. I mean, other than another tire to replace, it's still one more, it's gonna be fun. Engines in a convenience space or a pain in the ass or a pain in the butt space. Ugh. Oh my goodness. These things weigh a ton. But I do know that I don't want to work around things. I just want to tear everything apart, get into what I need to get into, and then get out. Just like that, I can see the engine. The moment of truth. When I bought this thing, it had no juice. What I mean by that is I turned the key and it wouldn't crank over, it wouldn't make any noises or anything. Saying that, I hope I didn't buy a machine that has a seized engine. Let's hope and pray. Oh yeah! Not a lot of compression, but at least it's not seized. Can you please try to help me understand this? This oil looks extremely black. Now when you have something like this, well actually any machine, any vehicle, any off-road vehicle, anything. Why do people not change the oil? Oil is extremely cheap when it comes to when it comes to its price compared to the machine's price. Like oil is a drop in the freaking bucket and nobody ever changes the oil. And I guess that's why they go to the auction and then they get sold for the prices they do. Come on. Oil's cheap. Just just put clean oil and stuff and they last a lot longer. I'm not digging the looks of that oil. This engine is probably a little rough. And when I say little, I mean it, it this is going to get bad. I can already tell. Now I'm kind of hoping that they bought a cheaper version of this battery. They make like three different options. A 230 cold cranking amp, like 275, and then like 300. Let's see how they did. I think this is one step higher than the lowest. It'd be cool if the battery just died and like there's no electrical problem and all I gotta do is put a new battery in and then we're a-okay. Stuff's usually never that easy though. Hey, here's the exact same battery. Sounds like the fuel pump. There's a little time.
toggle switch over here. Uh, which one of these is the brake? Uh, that's the throttle. Nothing. At least it sounds like we potentially might have a working fuel pump. Sucker. But I'm not worried about the fuel pump. I want to see this engine crank over. I bypassed as much electrical as I could by just getting some jumper cables. So the starter does work. Basically, I learned how to hot start the gator. I got this makeshaft sensor bypass and I have the key switch here. But what I was doing was I was actually using this wire to start the thing. After following the wires, this goes to the wire on the starter. This goes to the battery. After figuring that out, I put the switch on. And everything works. So my bypass wire allowed me to make that happen. Saying that, I have to figure out what's going on with this sensor. So I'll remove it, see what it does, see if it's working, and then go from there. See what I'm unscrewing, I'm just unscrewing, I just unscrewed a bolt. I'm trying to drain the fluids out of this thing. It was as simple as going to the other side. Way out in the open. I went on a shopping spree. I got some differential oil. I got some engine oil. I got a fuel filter. What's up, Cole? What's up? Spark plug, free sticker, and this super long, like, straw. The straw and the sticker are free. Thanks, Tim. First thing we're gonna try, fire bolt, as Luke would say. <laughs> the old fire bolt. I threw a little fogging oil down the cylinder. For you guys that don't know what fogging oil is, it's just like a lubricant for engines that have been sitting for a while. It gives the walls a little extra lubricant. I'm not even going to check if it has spark. I'm strictly going to put this spark plug in, throw some go-go juice down the carburetor, as Richard Rawlings would say, crank it up, see what happens. Sweet! I'm happy to say that there's hope. opinion this thing is extremely simple and luckily the gas tank is the same way I personally think it'll be easier if I just remove the entire gas tank and then clean it out outside of the machine than using my pump and pumping the remains out of the gas tank what do you think sound like a good call maybe it isn't easy to tear this gas tank out I ended up having to pump out the old gas anyways It's just a boring regular four-wheeler. At least this is a start. Do you guys dig my new insane five-wheeler? I personally love it. And I haven't even gotten to ride the thing yet. I mean, look at it. How can you not dig this? So the Gator is extremely clean. Well, I guess not extremely clean, but extremely more clean than it was. Does that make sense? It was really dirty. Now it's cleaner. Now I'm going to have to clean my sidewalk. That's the rules of cleaning and mess making. You have to make a mess in order to clean. You have to clean in order to make a mess. Whoever came up with the concept of cleaning, man, they really... I'm stoked, though. I am so stoked. When I had a free second, I went onto YouTube and looked one of these things up. This one guy bought one and the thing flew, it went like 30 miles an hour. Now I don't know about you, but rocking and rolling in one of these things with five wheels at 30 miles an hour, that's, that's insane. That's crazy. That's fast. That's phenomenal. But I do have big plans for this thing, huge plans. I, I plan on, I'm, I'm so excited about this that I want this to be the world's most famous gator. That's what I'm going for. I mean, there's no seats in it right now, but I plan on having some very famous people in that passenger seat. 
This thing's going to be awesome. Now when I say famous people, like, sure, regular celebrities, but also, like, big YouTubers. Like, everybody's gonna wanna jump in this thing after I'm done with it. I, I, got the, I got the ideas, you guys. I have the ideas. Saying that, do you have any ideas? If you do, leave in the comment section below. I'm going to make this thing awesome. There's no doubt about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I'm gonna push this thing and heave this thing back into the garage. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. And I can't wait to pick up the camera and start vlogging again. Until tomorrow. 3D Machines out. Enjoy your day.